Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Detroit and uh, that will be for the final episode of this Let's Play because uh, I think otherwise I will have to uh, get into Psych Ward afterwards. And I think we also have explored the brokenness of this game to an extent which... Um, which, yeah, why beat a dead horse, right? It, it's getting getting too much. Just look at some of these graphs. Ah, uh, sub-level systems. Yeah, it's like we are in the 1960s and my opponents are, my competitors, opponents, um, are still in 1920? Yes, 1920. So, fundamentally, completely broken game. And um, today we shall continue that trend and see if we get a complete breakout uh, so that we are ahead of the competition in everything and uh, just crush it further. So how do we go about this? Model comparison. Um, well, we are selling cheap cars, cheap, cheap cars, even though our consultants are saying that we are vastly um, overpriced. But uh, that's of course a consultant which uh, which does consult the competition as well. Oh, this is another really nice graph showing the current profits we are we are making. Uh, that's that's impressive compared to the competition. And maybe we should just increase marketing a little bit more. Why not? Yes, final push here. Maybe we will be able to sell some. Uh, some whales and mules <laughs> as a consequence of this. So uh, let's update and basically double everything or quad let's quadruple everything. I mean, we have the money, it's plentiful. All right, I, uh, what? Radio, radio, where's the radio? Do I even have a radio in my, ah, oh, there. There, we need to, to advertise in the radio as well. Now that we have it, uh, it's uh, just appeared here. Oh shit, that means I have to go through a whole different list again. I have upped it significantly as you can see, if we get to a non-zero one, 200k in Northern Europe, 100,000 in um, Southern Europe, then we have Northeastern US, 240k a month. That's all, all pretty impressive. Now let's go through the radio as well. Uh, rock music is not a thing. Oh, maybe in Canada it was at this time. <laughs> no, I'm joking, of course. Uh, what, what the hell? Country? Country music? Easy? What, how, what, what do they classify things as? Like being play, played back in the day. Would swing be considered easy listening? Um, talk? Would that be like news and stuff as well? Or what is pop? I mean, pop can be anything that is popular at the time, right? Um, so, I I don't know what they mean. Let's just do it for the main main three regions that are selling a lot. All right, all done, all done. So uh, now the consultant can say no one knows who we are, even though we can invest millions into marketing, which millions back in the day is a lot of money <laughs> we basically buy a few stations they can be completely funded by ourselves uh, right so uh, let's advance time and uh, see how it goes um, let's start uh, see first where we are currently oh yes 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 we just had an update to um, some of our subsystems correct Oh, of Le Fuka. yes, uh, 5 million profits now. Marketing, 1 million. Uh, pretty good. So, um, let's see, what is selling more though? We're probably selling more Velas as well, which is not really what we want. But backlogs should be getting reduced a lot as well. So, um, let me adjust pricing a little bit and then, yeah, probably that works better than right. So. The habit is being completely sold. Oh shit! Yes, it is being sold out. Even the whale, look at it. Whoa! They are selling like crazy now. Oh yeah, yeah. up the prices a little bit. That should help us uh, 
not struggle too much with demand, I hope, and maybe give us even more profit. No, it doesn't look like it. So potentially we have either sold all or out of all stock because of the new marketing, or uh, we are starting to overproduce once again. Oh, well, the Vela is still selling out uh, like crazy. No, oh, I'm just getting spammed with messages of highest profits ever. Uh, they are just hovering around 3.5 million basically. And uh, 57 in the pocket once again. I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh no! The workers have united against me. They are all pissed off. Yeah, we we can uh, we can give them more, and we have earned more this time <laughs> because they're pissed off. Um, yeah, assembly workers. Ah, look at this! I'm so generous. It's like, oh, really now? You you're not you're not shitting us, right? They they wouldn't have used that language back then. But um, yeah, all right, just fuck off, mates. Leave me alone. Work hard, and we shall get through this. We just need to entirely crush the opposition. All right, next year, let's see. Uh, 1932 is still making massive, massive profits. Let's take a look at the sublevel system. Uh, suspension would be about time to appear, a new one. And yeah, let's see if that is actually happening. Also, I would like to check out if um, my models are still adequately priced. Oh no, they try to underprice me. What was that? Two thousand? How? What? Why? Okay, two thousand. That's really cheap. Probably doesn't have. Oh yeah, probably doesn't have any subsystems in there. They're still complete shit. So they need to sell it for nothing to even have a chance or something. Uh, so profits. Um, yeah, I think I'm crushing pretty good right now. <laughs> and warp ahead autos. Is is that? Is that the one that's selling the two thousand dollar cars? Let's check with our consultant. Oh yes. So, your designs are mediocre. Yes, we know. Worst design, the agro wagon. Oh no. The designs are using cutting edge technology. But we have to improve first. Safety, where everyone else is still running with just like bumpers or something. Your cars are overpriced. Maybe he has a point right now. If someone is selling 2,000. But, but this one, excuse me, what is the company? <laughs> This is so terribly bad. I wonder if anyone actually ever played the game? If if there was any kind of, of quality assurance for, for this game. Because nothing in here makes any kind of sense. It's like, uh, or maybe they played it and then like, uh, yeah, but we don't have any time to fix it anyway. So just throw it out there. Uh, uh, all, all right. Um, what more do we want to do? Um, we are doing well with the, the monies. But the sub-level systems, where are the sub-level systems? Now we do have a new break, a uh, front independent, Macpherson struts. We have new cooling and we have roll bars and power windows. Oh, that's that's a lot of new stuff. Why not? Uh, why not incorporate that into our lineup? Because this will improve our scores dramatically, as you all know. So we're starting with the agro wagon, and uh, because it's doing so poorly, let's give it a new design. Um, yes, okay, middle, um, something, something like this, less, less agro. Maybe they uh, do like this end to it. Yes, okay, uh, that's all good. But now for the parts. Let's see. Let's give it a new engine. Oh, now it's having a six-cylinder. Ah, yes. And for oh, what? Wow. Wow. Front discs. Now we. <laughs> oh my God. This is basically 80s. Now we're in the 1980s with brakes, like four-wheel discs. That's not something even some modern cars have, because it's not not needed. But not needed is. 
is not really a thing in this game, so uh, I guess clutch fan. What, what the hell is this? Clutch fan. All right, it has a higher number on it, so I guess it's good. And yes, awesome. Uh, let's see, none here. What what more do we want? Electric starter. Oh, the heater. We took out the heater. Let's use the heater. And roll bars. The list is almost full already. <laughs> okay. Well, if if they say so, we're almost uh, maximized on on uh, on tech with our 1932 cars. Okay, click body and make. Same wagon, yes, yeah, same name. And we replace all of them. We have the monies. And let's run the test. Is this our first car that is not uh, driving out of the corner during the test, now that we have independent suspension? Oh? Uh, no. No, no, sorry. Oh, and terrible fuel economy. Wow, this is really bad. I think we should go back to our previous engine. This is terrible. So, uh, design a new car, parts. Yeah, yeah, F fuck that six cylinder. Let's uh, build this one instead. All right, yeah, I think it's a slightly higher rating. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, it's getting, it, it, uses just half the fuel, but nah, nah, it's like improved by 0.5%. Yep, that's, that sounds entirely reasonable. I, I don't know what would be wrong with this. Okay, uh, let's take a look at this one as well. Mm, do we want to have anything else in there? Maybe give it higher safety? Oh yeah, our super luxury version uh, car needs an, a big update. Do we have a new engine? No, it's still the, the biggest, the latest one we have here. Oh, powered windows already. Yeah, that's uh, something we want to use. And for the safety, also get the latest. All right, no uh, big updates for the Hellbird. Just make it with what we have. Uh, just put new... Uh, New suspension and stuff in there it should be all good and it's still as slow damn it's slow with this fucked engine uh, it's so bad uh yeah okay i think that's uh that's all that needs to be up updated largest profits four million oh yes oh shit the agro wagon is not selling well uh we need to change that and also, this fucking strike has made all my numbers uneven. I hate that! OCD to the max! Oh yeah, with the latest updates, let's take a look at our sub-level systems. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said about running away. It becomes clearer and clearer, doesn't it? That was November. Here we have... Uh, automation, yes. Uh, largest profits. Oh, we're back, back again. December and January 1940... No, 1934. And... That's it. So, where are we at right now? What does our tech say? Uh, oh, we have a five-cylinder engine. And we have new brakes. And we have cross-flow cooling. And rear seat belts. And... You now powered windows is old. So uh, let's make a little update. I think this five-cylinder engine might be pretty awesome for our family cars. Well, uh, that is assuming probably it's then again like oh 1.1 liters. Oh, that's that's uh, clearly the the new high-speed record compared to the 18-liter V16 we have. Um, no, we don't. But uh, uh, I, yeah. I definitely think they they will be uh, they will will be a little weird about this one. So let's update our cars. Uh, we do want to put new parts in. Let's see. Yes, mini motor and X split disc, maybe. Yes, front independent is still uh, and cross flow. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, do we need any more safety in here? Did we get anything new? Oh yes, yes, we did get the uh, rear seat belt. So uh, use this for our family stuff. And make. Yes. 
we shall make it. And let's see what top speed it reaches. Oh, the acceleration is through the roof! Oh, it's always the same. And it reaches... Oh, <laughs> it's, it's faster than anything else. Of course, of course it is! Would you have expected anything other than this? It's like faster than our sports car. And there's basically no difference whatsoever. It's just... I, I, you, you don't know, it's just so bad. Guys, it's so bad! Uh, I, I wonder what happened in development. Like, what, what did it look like? Did they, did they have this kind of thing in mind, but not for cars? And then just had like an item list which they needed to fill with like randomized shit. And then every item which is further down the list is just better or something like that. Because this is what it seems like. There, there doesn't seem to be any kind of of uh, relevance of what the item actually does to what it what the car then is about that's so strange how that would even pass as as passable yes passable words words are difficult oh this one has even faster 93 maybe we should put this into a sports car <laughs> it's in like 5 1.2 liter Versus our old like 6.2 liter uh, uh, Boxer 6 like which one guys guys which one is better for a sports car? Well, obviously the 1.2 liter engine Was this game made by Europeans maybe? Um, no, that was just a little jab uh, 113 million in our checkbook mm, Yes, what a challenge what a challenge. Maybe I'm just too good a player So or you just give the luxury car, the 1.2 liter engine as well. I mean, if, if they say it's so awesome, then uh, who would we be to disagree, right? Oh yeah, it's super fast now. And hey, all the rating. And now of course the sports car needs, needs to get our new engine as well. And where do we have it? Let's make a, a direct comparison. So we have 59.82 here and if we just make it. This is a six cylinder 6.2 liter engine and if we just press make and test it. So what is our top speed? We have 71. All right, 71. 71 miles per hour and now we shall change it around to our latest. Uh, like what is this? quarter of the size and one-fifth of the size it's one-fifth of the size of the previous engine which was just like two years prior three years prior something around there right and um, this doesn't aff sh shouldn't affect top speed uh, the cooling may be a little bit but not much so this new powerful engine gives us uh, where do we have to push? Um, safety? Do we want to have safety? Oh yeah, we give give them. Come on, Re where? Yeah, roll. Yeah, exactly. Roll bars and rear seat pads. Use. Okay, cool. And uh, now body and make. Uh, Halberd. Oh shit, that costs a lot to upgrade. And the test is real. How much are we going to get? We are doing. 84! <laughs> yes! 84! So, um, indeed, with this engine, and the rating actually dropped. Um, so, with this engine making it much more of a sports car, ah, isn't that brilliant? Isn't this game just brilliant, guys? What I really wonder, though, just, just, uh, I think it's a fair question. Why the hell? Didn't I remember it to be this immersion breaking? Like this immersion breaking breaking. Here you have the massive boxer six with a 6.2 liter capacity and your car, which is exactly the same as before, does uh, does uh, 70 something miles per hour top speed and then you take this new tiny engine which is just two years later 
which looks like kind of an economy engine or something, gets worse fuel economy, more or less, uh, and a much higher top speed. <laughs> Uh, in which world, or uh, which state of the mind? I, I've never done drugs, so uh, I, I can't say I was high while playing it back in the day and didn't notice because of it. Uh, maybe that is the case in your... Maybe that's for, the case for you, but um, I wasn't. So, um, what the hell happened? Why don't I remember it to be this abysmal? Uh, it's, it's just... It's, I'm flabbergasted. I, I don't know. I really don't know what's going on with this game. Oh yes, we need to uh, take another look at the uh, subsystem levels here. Oh, yep! There we go. Oh! Yeah, our competition has caught up with the suspensions. Someone else also got it, so now everyone has it. And uh, suspension, weirdly enough, is the only thing they can keep... They can keep up with me. I don't know why. Like, safety, we are almost in the 2000s now. Regarding uh, the progression here, there's not much more to come. Huh, 4.9 million profits each month. Where does this lead? It leads to 1935. Um, oh, 5.5 million profits. Brilliant. Okay. Now, where where are we at? Where is the sub-level system now? Uh, research parts. We do have... Float Galloper. Uh, okay. And Crossflower Body Level 4. We have the new body level. Burst Proof Lock. Okay. Let's up update our cars. Let's see what they are looking like now. And this will be the very last update you see because this game is certainly done. It's it's not done for the, for the campaign, but for this Let's Play. And I'm really done with this game. I don't even know. that This has been such a poor experience right now and so like this game is so bad that I don't even want to touch it anymore after that I don't think I will ever be getting back to it uh, after this and like if if I get that inkling then I just need to watch my let's play on it and I will know exactly why I should never again do so but um, let's design the car okay oh, oh look we have arrived in something that looks, yeah, uh, something like 70s? Oh, no, no, not quite. Not quite. It still has some, has some the resemblance of the olden days, oh, for sure. Now, oh, oh, 70s is, is weird. It's just so Volvo looking, but it has two, two rounded edges for being the 70s, 80s. Um, but let's take a look. So parts. What more do we need here? We don't have a new engine. We have better brakes. Uh, front independence to the top. This is all the top. And let's give it some more luxury. And of course, all the safety. The list is almost full. There are only two more safety techs that are coming. 86 miles per hour top speed. Still the same animation. And still the same shit. Okay, nothing changes. The car is just the same and um, not really a new design. Uh, let's take the next one. Ow! Ugh, this looks like it had a crash. Now oh, this this very much looks like the like the 50s, rather. 96 miles per hour. Whoa! Wow! 96? The aerodynamics are picking up. What is going on with our sports car then? I want to see that. Okay, the sports car. Let's see if we can find some kind of body typey thing that is actually making it look sporty. Oh yeah, look at this! Isn't it beautiful? So now what are we going to do with this one? Um, we need new parts. Okay, it is ready. Let's see if this body is ready. Wow, okay. Expensive to replace. Now, for the final top speed test, will this much more aerodynamic body style actually affect uh, the top speeds? We shall find out right now. And what do we get? 103, yes, there was some, some, uh, some effect on the top speed. 
Which is surprising, I have to say. It is slightly surprising. Uh, there is something that weirdly affects things. And this engine, this tiny, tiny engine, has a, a terrible fuel economy. But the big uh, six liter engine was, I think, was better than this one, wasn't it? Also, um, this sporty car design, if you, if you noticed, this sporty car design gave the sports car a much lower rating. Let's let's make a uh, little test here, right? Shall we? Shall we? Just as maybe a final a final message. So we take this very sporty car and well it still needs a, uh, a much larger engine, but this this was the fastest one we could get, right? So that that point is proven already. But um, let's make it the least sporty looking car we can. Uh, this is looking quite good. Well, uh, kind of like this. And the middle. Let's make it more like family style. Oh yeah, like something like this. And then the rear. Um, oh yeah. I mean, I mean, this is this is a sports car, right? So um, let's make this one. We have the money, so let's just try it all out. We get 64%. This is a sports car, which is like 13% higher rating than uh, the other one we had. Like the, the proper sports car looking car. And um, I mean, and much, much lower top speed. But it is the better sports car. A much better sports car. Hmm. Well, if this doesn't make you think why you ever wanted to play more of this game, then I don't know what does. As for me, it's done now. Alright, we have seen everything the game has to offer and not to offer. I still hope you very much enjoyed this Let's Play, guys. Even though I was getting a little pissed off at times. Not at you, but at the game. It's so trash. Alright. Hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.